Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebony if you are new here. In today's video, we are doing a clean with me and unpack with me type video. So I have a lot to get done today. I'm excited to take you guys along. So if you are needing motivation on getting stuff done, you are definitely in the right place. And I'm excited to take you guys along today. It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you The first thing I was doing was unpacking the dishes. So I'm just going to go through each cabinet and unpack um, different boxes and try to figure out where I want everything to go. So this is going to be like my little coffee area. And so that's why I'm putting all of my mugs right above it. And I definitely want to like decorate that area and just make it aesthetic and cute so i am excited to be able to decorate that area and then in this section is going to be all of our um, vitamins and medications and things like that so that's pretty much what's going to be dedicated for that section and then over here we're just going to unbox this box and it's mainly um like stuff that goes in the coffee bar area, but also stuff that goes in like our health and nutrition cabinet. And I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But this section right here would be for all spices. And I normally just, as you see, put my spices in two different baskets. However, I have thought about doing the whole spice rack cabinet drawer. Um, I know a lot of people do that for the aesthetic reasons, but honestly, we are overfilling those two baskets. So I'm thinking about purchasing like a spice um, set where you can just place them in the clear containers with the labels. So just let me know in the comments below, do you um, just throw all your spices in the cabinet or do you have it labeled and organized um, like what I am wanting to do? Um, but this section right here is our health and nutrition. So you pretty much have like all of your protein powders your pre-workout your collagen stuff like that so i'm just going to dedicate that cabinet to that stuff and now we are working on putting up um, glass bowls glass plates um, and all of that so we're going to dedicate this cabinet to actually i think it's just the glass bowls and then everything else is plastic so to the left is where I put all of our glassware and then to the right, the only thing glassware is the bowls with the lids, but everything else is the plasticware. I'm not gonna play nice. I'll be the witch you tell your friends about. Another thing I was thinking about for that drawer with all of our sandwich bags and um, our aluminum foil and plastic wrap and stuff like that, I was thinking about getting like the organization um, bamboo containers. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Um, I know they sell them on Amazon, but I was thinking about getting that. I just have to measure out the drawer to see if they'll even fit because they are a little bulky. Um, but I just thought that would be cute in organizing that section, but that'll be a little bit down the road once I get everything organized with what I have now. So um, we're just going to continue cleaning off the uh, countertop and just wiping everything down just because when you move, you know, you get dust and debris and all of that stuff. So that's why I really try to uh, wrap everything for all of the dishes and stuff so I wouldn't have to, um, you know, wash everything, but some stuff I did choose to.
So whenever I was recording the video that you guys just saw, um, that was actually the night before we moved everything in. So this is actually more stuff that we brought over um, today and I actually had to go to work. So Lee picked up the camera by surprise, honestly, and just tackled everything else. So I really appreciate it because it's giving you guys so much more motivation um, in this video um, besides if I would have just ended it um, where I left off the night before. So she's just placed placing a lot of the dishes in the dishwasher and then um, she's going to just tackle unboxing several boxes these pretty much all go in the kitchen area and then it's mainly just putting stuff that belongs in the pantry in the pantry washing the dishes and just getting everything good to go in regards to unpacking and cleaning the kitchen this um, filter water dispenser um, from Amazon a couple of weeks ago I did it because at the apartment we didn't have where we have dispensed filtered water so now I technically don't have to use it but I did like how it reminds you to change your filter on there so it gives you like a sticker and then you just mark on there when it needs to be changed so thought that was helpful but it is on Amazon and I'll link it in my Amazon store the link is down below for my Amazon storefront if you want to check that out but like I said I'll pretty much link most of the stuff that you see in this video um, especially with organization stuff so still lots to do but things are coming together So the pantry section we pretty much set up like the way we had it in the apartment but now that i'm thinking about it now that we have so many more cabinets i was just wondering should i have put like all of my oils and vinegar and you know all of those glass bottles that i use um that i use for cooking and stuff like i said i had it in the pantry at the apartment but i'm now wondering do you actually put it in cabinets i don't even know for some reason i'm just 
wondering like do most people have it in their cabinet or do they have it in their pantry i'm definitely going to have to do a little bit of research about that but let me know in the comments below do you have all of your oils and vinegars and sauces that are in glass bottles do you have them in the refrigerator in the pantry or in the cabinets So pretty much the only thing left to do now is just to clear off the countertops um, and just make sure everything is a wipe down. So that's what you'll see her doing now. So I'm sure you noticed a couple videos back that I actually had a different type of coffee pot. Now I actually have had the Nespresso for over a year now, but I am trying to go back to a little bit more traditional type coffee. I don't know, the Nespresso is good. However, a lot of the coffee is really, really strong for me. And I just need like an old school basic coffee maker. So that's what I'm in the search of now. I did try to do the Drew Barrymore, um, coffee maker but I don't know I just wasn't feeling making a whole cup of coffee every time I want coffee and then the texture and the taste was not the best so um, I don't know if I want to go back to just a Keurig or just get like I said um, you know a coffee maker from Amazon I'm still in the search on what to do so that's why in a couple of videos ago you actually saw a different coffee maker and then here is back to my Nespresso so just didn't want to confuse you with that Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it You could be a one that the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door love Feel like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to get something done today. And I actually want to say the next video that will be out will definitely be like a cozy clean with me. I know I have been putting out different type of content in regards to moving the unpack with me and stuff like that. So we are definitely going back to our traditional simple and cozy clean with me's. So if you are looking forward to that video, definitely stay tuned. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Be the first and the second and the third and the rest of